Previously on Shiny Lock with A Drive. All right, let's see what she has to say. Oh my, I even run into you when I'm not on the clock. I wonder why that is. Maybe we're destined to be together. <laughs> Want to know something? I'm I'm feeling so empty and down right or downhearted right now. I can't get my head straight. Help me take my mind off it. The way you and your Pokemon battle so straightforwardly and sincerely with such hope, it makes me so mad. All right, let's check it out. We got uh, Battle Girl Shelly here, and she's got a Gardevoir, which absolutely, positively destroys. Destroys my entire team. Spyro it is, baby. It's psychic. It's a 2 KO. All right, well, guys, I don't know what I can do here. I'm gonna go over the Rock Tomb to weaken this thing, but you know what I could do actually? Let's hope that this thing is dumb and uses a move that doesn't attack us. That's all. I'm gonna go for a potion here and just see what he's gonna go for. Otherwise, my play is to Rock Tomb, sacrifice a life on Spyro, and then switch. Let's go for Psychic again. He's just gonna keep going for Psychic. I could go into Nuzleaf. Oh, that's a damage roll. That's a damage roll, guys. Because now we die to Psychic anyway. Go for the flinch. Psychic. <sighs> Spyro lost the life. That's I there's nothing I can do there. I couldn't risk the fairy move. Oh my god, we got speed! Yes, Pinocchio! Oh my god, Pinocchio! Oh my god, we would have lost Pinocchio there if he had a fairy move. Yo! What is going on YouTube? This is your boy Dan, aka Ajive. I'm bringing you guys episode 15 of the Pokemon Alpha Sapphire Randomizer Shiny Lock, the first of its kind. If you guys are super duper hyped on the rain on the route or just hyped in general, show your love on that like button down below. 1,000 likes would be absolutely amazing. You guys did it, guys. You guys turned up like absolute champions. We got the 1,000 like goal for Tuesday and Thursday's episode again. And I just want to take a moment to thank you guys for the continued support because it really does mean a lot, guys. Like, seriously, I genuinely mean it this has been the most fun let's play i've ever done on my channel you guys have been super duper supportive this should be a really really cool episode today guys uh i'm gonna wrap up the episode by the end of it by finding four pokemon in the grass and you guys are gonna vote on the one we're gonna hunt for so definitely stick around to the end and there's gonna be a poll in the description below that you can find it's gonna say like poll it's a straw poll link you can go there you can vote vote for the pokemon you think is gonna fit the team the best or uh the one you like the most so anyway we're gonna continue here and you can see our team has been dwindled down quite a bit it is is raining out which actually could prove to be uh, quite useful here because we do have Polaris uh, but I am gonna take a small detour here we're gonna take a small detour and I believe if I do this let's let's leave with Ernie because Ernie is like even though Ernie's only got one life Ernie's clearly shown to be our bulkiest Pokemon so let's uh let's hop on Ernie here we're gonna surf all the way down here and I'm if I'm not mistaken and I could be mistaken because who knows there's definitely a leaf stone somewhere somewhere down in these parts I don't know where but I'm like pretty sure there's a leaf stone somewhere over here if I'm not if I'm not totally wrong I think it might be the next next little patch of, of land here I do want to evolve Pinocchio here guys and and that is what we we're gonna do if I could find this leaf stone Is that it? That is indeed the leaf stone ladies and gentlemen So we are going to evolve our Nuzleaf here our Pinocchio It's finally going to be evolved and you have to bear with me for a second because I actually don't think I have the sprite for shift tree on my computer. So I'm just going to I'm just going to grab that real time right now because we don't we don't do post editing here guys. We don't do post editing. We just grab it straight up and now I have that. So that's some serious live editing there. So I think this is time, man. I think it's time to evolve Pinocchio. Maybe. Maybe maybe maybe. Let me do some more live research here. I'm going to cheat for a second. I'm going to cheat. Don't mind me. I'm going to serabi.net. Shout out to serabi.net. I'm going to go look up Pinocchio really really quickly. And just see what moves he learns. We're like level 31, I think, right? So what moves are we missing out? We're missing out on extra sensory at 36. I think is the only level we're really missing out on. And the only move we're really missing out on. But I get Hurricane at 32. I'll take Hurricane at 32 over extra sensory. So I'm evolving him now, dude. Let's do it. Pinocchio, it is time, my friend, that you grow into a giant shift tree, buddy. It is time. You deserve it. You have worked so hard to get to this moment, Pinocchio. The first shiny on the first ever randomizer shiny lock. This is your moment. Do not let it pass you by, my friend. Do not let it pass you by. This is your time to shine, buddy. This is it for you. Look at him go. He is going to evolve, and he is going to look absolutely beautiful. I have faith. I have faith in this shiny. I don't even think I've ever had a shiny shift tree before. This thing is going to look awesome. 
Oh my goodness. Tell me that doesn't look sick, guys. Tell me Pinocchio doesn't look awesome. He's not even in the box. There he is. Oh my goodness, I'm so hyped. So Pinocchio is our first final evolved Pokemon. We've grinded him, we've 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 lived with him, and he's 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 made it all the way here. So thank you, Pinocchio, for being awesome. He looks really cool, actually. He does look pretty cool. So we may need Pinocchio's newfound inner strength to get our way through this playthrough because things have been a little bit challenging here. So anyway, let's talk a little bit about the rivals uh, of Pokemon in general, right? So We've speculated, we've thought, we've dreamed about a new Pokemon game coming out, and one of the hot topics that I really like is the whole idea of a rival. So in X and Y, the rival system was kind of lame, right? In my opinion, anyway. They had a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of different rivals, basically. You had your primary rival, and then you had a bunch of, like, friends that traveled around with you. And I'm kind of curious your guys' opinions, whether you like that kind of thing, or whether you kind of like the old school rivals, like Gary or Blue, or uh, or even Silver, uh, from Heart Gold, Soul Silver, etc. So let me know what kind of rival you guys would like to see. I always like the ones that were, like, sort of challenging you and really like wanted to to like challenge you to excuse me to be better and like things like that i don't know but we're gonna take on may here our rival who is obviously part of uh you know oras so where have you been hiding i've been looking for you all over oh where did you get that thing on your wrist that's a pretty fancy looking bracelet wow so that's a mega bracelet and you can use it for mega evolution i guess now you keep getting even closer to your pokemon huh some guys have all the luck but i'm not gonna lose to you in some accessory let's see who's the best in battle are all your pokemon ready of course they are let's go oh my goodness so this is really scary we have an advantage because it's raining out and that's actually gonna help our homie polaris here he's gonna lead with clam pearl what level is your clam pearl because that's actually kind of scary I, I doubt clam pearl is gonna be a huge issue for us but let's see, let's see. I wish I had like Toxic on our, our little Polaris here. Clam Pearl's 31, so definitely a higher level than we are. Um, I do have Recover. I'm gonna go for the, the, the Dazzling Gleam and see how much it does. Pretty sure we could probably live one hit from this thing anyway. So it doesn't really do too much. It's gonna go for the Water Gun. It is gonna get boosted by the water, the rain. We're gonna eat that up. You know what I'm gonna do here? I think we're gonna go into Pinocchio. And I think Pinocchio is gonna be able to take the hit. I'll fake out and I'll Leaf Blade and we'll knock it out. Let's get Pinocchio some action here. The brand new evolved Pinocchio, looking beautiful as ever. He's gonna go for Water Gun. Even with our paper defenses, we should be able to eat that up, and we do. So that's pretty nice. All right, let's 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 make it happen. Fake out, just for the damage. I don't think it, it, we're gonna need that extra damage. I'm pretty sure that Leaf Blade will probably do the trick here. Oh my god, I'm so hyped about Shifter, guys. We've had it the whole playthrough, man, and it made it all the way here. That's really cool. Alright, so Pinocchio is going to grow some levels, or some experience. Polaris grows to 26, which is wonderful. Here comes a Ponyta, so I definitely have to switch here, and I I want to switch into Polaris, but the problem is, is I'm actually kind of weak, so I'm actually going to go into Spyro here, because it is raining out, so his Fire-type moves aren't going to do too much, and I resist them, and I could fire off some Rock Tombs and slow it down, too. So we'll see what he's going to do. I think Spyro should be able to take whatever hit this thing is going to throw at us. Inferno, he misses. Inferno is like a really good move if it doesn't miss. Let's go for the Rock Tomb, slow this thing down. Gonna be faster anyway, but it could help out the rest of the team to slow it down. Now we're just gonna straight knock it out with a crit, so that works for me. Now, what is your last Pokemon? I don't know if it's Blaze. I don't think it's Blaziken yet. I think it's still Combuskin, and it's gonna be a Bunnelby. So a little bit anticlimactic here, a little Bunnelby, not a huge deal. I really want to switch into um, into Polaris, but it's just not worth it because this could be a huge power Bunnelby. So let's just go for a nice little nice little Aerial Ace just to get as much damage off as we can. I really doubt Bunnelby can can do too much to us. Double kick? Yeah, that's not gonna do too much. I'm glad I didn't go into Polaris though, just to be safe, because he could have like crit us or something. Like Polaris isn't exactly bulky as a star you, so it's not a huge deal. But we're gonna be able to beat our rival here, uh, May, which is nice. I was actually really worried about this battle. Looks like the randomizer wasn't too kind to May this time, but uh, that's probably good because we're still kind of in need of grinding. Our team could definitely benefit from gaining a few levels here or there. So maybe we'll do that. Maybe while I'm shiny hunting for the next Pokemon. I'll do a little bit of grinding as I go, you know what I mean? Maybe I'll turn the experience share on just to get a few levels and then like while I'm hunting for the next Pokemon and then once all my Pokemon are like a certain level. How about this? You guys let me know what level you think my team should be and I can get the whole team to the right level. How's that? So we're 26, 32, 31, 35, 32, 26. I mean, I could get everyone on the team to 35 and have a match with Ernie if you guys think that's fair. I'll, let me know in the comment section below as well. Um, and before I film the next episode, I'll read through all the comments and, and kind of get an idea of what you guys want. Because I want the, the playthrough to be exciting and challenging, but I also don't want to get bodied every time either. You know what I mean? So, because we're, we're starting to starting to wear thin on lives here, and I'm very glad that we have the amount of lives we have. 
very glad that we went with three lives because... Well, we have two Pokemon that are on their last life. So Team Flare Yasu's got a Swampert. And why do I keep running into things like Swampert, dude? Uh, I think I have to make a bold bold switch into Pinocchio here. Because I don't really have any other good responses to a level 27 Swampert. Can I Swampert or Okomi with an Earthquake? I don't think so. Oh, man. I'm going to go into Pinocchio here. Because Grass-type does resist Ground-type. And I will definitely outspeed this thing. Unless he's... No, he's not going to have Swift Swim. He's not Mega. I should be able to take any hit from this thing. Mudshot. I should be able to live this easily. Yeah, that does really nothing. It does drop our, our speed, but I should still be fast. So I'm just gonna go for the Leaf Blade. I'm actually not fast. He goes for the Foresight, but that's totally fine. As long as I connect the Leaf Blade, I'm good. And we do, and that's a that's a dead Swampert. Sap Sipper Swampert, imagine. Um, no, that's a dead Swampert. Goodbye, buddy. So Pinocchio gets another level. So Pinocchio, that, I should get Hurricane. Mmm, I love it. Let's teach this thing Hurricane, man. Ah, oh, dude, that's a tough decision. Do I get rid of Fake Out? I feel like Fake Out's been very useful. Maybe I get rid of Growth, guys. I'm gonna get rid of Growth. We don't even use it, so... I really like the idea of having uh, Hurricane. As, as inaccurate as it is. We might have to get some Wise Glasses somewhere. But it's raining right now, which means I can just fire off Hurricanes all day if I want to. Kind of a cool little feature. Um, we can't go that way. So, I think we just head our way into uh, Fortree here. Let's see what we got. Yeah, we're gonna head right into Fortree. Let me just hop into the Pokemon Center Heal Up really quick. And I believe the next thing we're going to do is talk to Mr. Steven Stone and we're going to find out what the four Pokemon we're going to be hunting for are. So I'm going to get a little piece of paper here, a little notepad and a little pen. And I'm going to make a note here momentarily because I'm going to have to write it down so I don't forget. Well, I guess I could always look back at the video, but I'd just rather make notes. So let's go this way. So we're going to hop up here. And this is Fortree, one of my favorite desi design towns. I uh, really always like the way this town is designed. And if I'm not mistaken, wrong house. Got the wrong house. I think it's the one before this. I'll go back to it later. I was going to grab Hidden Power, but I got the wrong house. So, ah, it's Mr. Stone again. Talk to me. Hmm. It looks as though the Pokemon can be found up on Route 120. And he just bounces. He just leaves. Goodbye. See you later. Arrivederci. All right. So here we are on Route 20. This will be the route... They were gonna hunt our next shiny on guys, and I'm gonna try to skillfully dodge some trainers here. Cause you know I don't like facing trainers. We've been skipping them on this playthrough. Usually I take on all the trainers and I just like haven't been doing it. Alright, here's the first encounter. So this is the one of the four Pokemon you guys are gonna be able to vote for, and it is a Finneon. So Finneon is gonna be the first one that pops up. So again, I'm gonna encounter four Pokemon here in the grass. The four Pokemon I encounter are gonna be the ones I will be potentially hunting for for this next shiny encounter, which will be the sixth shiny on the team. Now keep in mind, we're actually gonna get uh, eight shinies total on the playthrough, but this will be the sixth one and be added to our squad. So let's just get the second encounter right now. Let's just get him right now. Let's just get him right now, why not? So another Finneon, so we just found two Finneons, that's fine. All right, what's next? I got Ernie up front here. So Ernie's ready to rock and roll. So a couple Finneons, which do evolve into Luminion, which is a water type Pokemon. I can't run away from a Finneon, evidently. He's gonna confuse me. No, he's not, I'm just gonna run. Can I, I can't get away. Come on, Finneon. Don't do this to me, buddy. You're just being annoying now. You're just being annoying. And there's the confusion. You're just kind of being annoying now, Finneon. Let me run away. I couldn't get away. He's got Gust on his Finneon. Now Ernie's just getting beat up. I got away. Okay. Well, thanks for that, Finneon. That was obnoxious. Maybe I'll just leave it Spyro then. All I want to do is just find out the four Pokemon. Come on, Finneon. Don't be that guy. Don't be that guy. All right. Let's see what we got here. So, Finneon... What will be next? A Graveler, which is very scary, guys. So the problem with Graveler, I'm going to be honest, is that Graveler, if I shiny hunt for it, there's a very, very high chance that it's going to have self-destruct or explosion with the deck snap. I'm going to let you guys know that right now, and there's no way around that. So just keep that in mind. There's a very high chance I find the shiny and it kills itself. Drillbur? Ooh, I'm excited about Drillbur. Ooh, okay, all right, Drillbur. Okay, I'm not influencing anyone right now. I'm not influencing anyone. You guys do the voting yourself. But, uh, ooh, so Drillbur, Graveler, and Finneon, the fourth Pokemon, is going to be a Finneon again. So we're just going to pretend that never happened. And we'll find out what our fourth Pokemon is going to be here 
And we'll just do the four. You guys can vote between the four choices. And I do understand that this takes away from the Nuzlocke part of it, where it's just the first Pokemon you encounter on every route. But I want you guys to be involved too, right? I want you guys to be involved in the playthrough and uh, and be able to give me some thoughts too. And the last one is going to be a Bun Eerie, which is pretty sweet. So you guys are going to have the opportunity in the description below to check out the straw poll and vote between Shiny Bun Eerie, which is nice and pink, Drillbur, which I think is a really, really interesting looking Shiny, and it evolves into Excadrill, which kind of has some coolish purplish colors to it. Uh, gives the ground and steel type, which would be kind of nice. Bunny would give us a normal type that has the potential to mega evolve into low punny, although I don't know where you get the mega stone for that. Uh, Graveler is nice and gold and evolves into the golden nugget that is Golem. I would trade and evolve the Graveler if I did catch one, I could evolve it, that's fine. And then last but not least would be Finion or Luminion, and I'm not entirely sure what their shiny looks like exactly, but. Um, I've never gone for it, but I think it's a, a slightly different color purple or something. So anyway, here we are with Mr. Steven. So definitely vote because we're going to get your votes votes tallied up in the first like 24, 36 hours. And then I'm going to start hunting. So uh, it'll be good times. Hmm. And we'll have the next shiny for hopefully Tuesday's episode. That's the plan. A drive. So we meet again. How has it been? Have you been using the mega bracelet wisely? I suppose I didn't even ask, though, not when it comes to you and your team. I wonder, have you noticed, hmm, there's something here you can't see. Now, if I were to use this device on the invisible obstacle, it would show up. No, no, rather than describing it, I should just show you. That should be more entertaining. A-Drive, are you and your Pokemon ready to battle? Sure. In that case, I want you to take this. Try it on, I'm sure it'll fit you. So he's going to give me the uh, the Sylph, Sylph goggles, the, the Devon goggles, the Devon, Devon scope. I was close. And there goes a Kecleon. A previous invisible Pokemon became visible to the naked eye. The startled Pokemon attacked. Will it actually be a Kecleon in the first place? I'm actually curious. It is a Kecleon, so the static stuff doesn't change. So here's a Kecleon here. And uh, I'm just gonna, I guess I could just run. It doesn't really matter. We can just run from it. So we'll just run from it. Don't need to attack it. I'm pretty sure it just goes away now. Ah, uh, just as I expected. That's called a Devon Scope. It's a fantastic piece of tech that lets you see Pokemon in hiding. Consider it a gift from me. So now this enables us to go to the next gym and take on Winona, the flying type gym leader, but not before we get our next shiny. And now he's going to give us the Blaziknite. He just happens to have that in his pocket. This stone ranks as one of my top five favorite stones in existence. I have no doubt that your Pokemon will like it. You know, A-Drive, I like to see trainers and Pokemon who are trying their best. That's why I like you so much. Hmm, it seemed as though something just shone for a moment in your bag. I'm sure I sensed the power of some kind of stone. A meteorite? No, it couldn't be. Let's meet again some die, some die, some day. Let's meet again some day. All right, so that is gonna be it for me and Mr. Steven Stone here. And I think there's one trainer right here. Let's just battle this guy, Let's see what he's got first. And I think that's probably gonna be roughly, let's, what does he have though? He's got a pan pour. It's a bit scary actually. Oh, it's a pan pour, not a pan, pan semi pour. Okay, so maybe it's less scary. Do I want to stay in on a pan pour that's that's four levels higher than me? Probably not. Um, I think I should either go into Ernie or Pinocchio. But does Pinocchio want to take a hit from this? Let's go to Pinocchio. I feel like Pinocchio can live the hit no matter what. It's a pan pour. And now we're Pinocchio. We're not we're not Nuzleaf anymore. We're a shift tree. So we should be able to live anything. He looks awesome, guys. I'm really excited about Pinocchio. He looks awesome. All right, let's hit him with that big leaf bleed. We're going to be faster. And goodbye, Pampor. I'll see you later. Goodbye. Sayonara. All right, ladies and gentlemen. I think this is where we're going to wrap up. A little bit of a shorter episode today. But your homie needs to go and grind, so take the moment here to uh, to check out the question of the day. What rival, what kind of rival would you like to see in the next game? Tell me a little bit about the kind of rivals you like. Uh, let me know in terms of the grinding situation. You know, do you guys want me to grind a little bit? You can see kind of the levels of my team here. Spyro's 32, 35, 26, 32, 32. So everyone's around the same. Uh, and then obviously you guys need to vote for the next shiny. Finion, Graveler, Drillbur, or Bunnery. I know who I'm voting for, but you guys do your thing. So I'll let you guys vote, and that is going to be that. Enjoy your weekend. Definitely show your love on that like button down below if you haven't and if you're enjoying the series, of course. And that's going to be it, guys. My name is Dan. I also go by A-Drive, and I'm going to catch you guys later. Peace.